Burlington woman says she's left with no choice but to contact us here at First Coast News about a bed bug problem at a local hotel. She is still living with Marks following her two night stay back in October. First Coast News reporter Nick Perot has our on your side report tonight. It still itches. Is that the only one? No. Mia Hall's legs aren't the only place she claims bed bugs left their mark from her two day stay at this King's Inn back in October. Her arms, back, and hands all suffered bites. I thought maybe mosquitoes or, you know, I, I just wasn't sure. They weren't really big webs, but it was itching, nevertheless. It wasn't until the next morning when the bites increased she thought bed bugs. Hall told the manager and asked for a refund. So he called me a liar. Um, he said that there, you know, was no way for me to prove that there were bed bugs in my room. Therefore, I couldn't get a refund. Thank you for your complaint and have a wonderful night. Hall then issues a complaint with Florida's Division of Hotel and Restaurants. I did observe um, the allegation um, there were bed bugs. Turns out she was right. The division found five live bed bugs in Hall's room 403 and dead ones in room 400, plus 10 other violations in the hotel. Immediately after Mia Hall received that phone call confirming there were bed bugs inside the King's Inn, she returned this weekend once again looking for a refund. My question would be, why would you refuse to refund me? She recorded the video of their explanation, but it was once again turned away for a second time. I went to the King's Inn to see if Mia would be getting her $120 back and an explanation. The refund looks doubtful. As the owner and on-site manager told me off camera, Hall should have reported the incident to them immediately on day one, not on her second day after checkout, and let them call the health department. They fear issuing Hall a refund would encourage others to use it as an excuse to skip out on the bill. Hall says she'll now be more cautious to book a room last minute and encourages others to do their homework before picking a place to stay for the night. In Jacksonville, Nick Perot, First Coast News, on your side.